help me welcome Cherry Slope. Uh, thank you for having me here. My name is Karis. I'm an artist. My work falls into three categories. I illustrate fiction and fantasy. I draw for causes and non-profits. And I use art as a creative tool in education. So tonight, I'm going to talk about drawing. More specifically, drawing to document, to record, and why I think it's important. We begin on a blank page. The date is 29th of August, 2015. I'm standing somewhere in Petaling Street, not too far from here. It's the afternoon, it's hot, and I am drawing as fast as I can in the crowd. As I draw, I realize that this is the most I've ever drawn in the day and that I literally cannot stop. My fingers are buzzing. There is magic in being present, in recording what you are seeing, and this is the first time that I'm out documenting a street protest. When I get home and upload these to postcode.my, the reception is beyond what I expected. By focusing on individual moments, I've created something very different from photographs and videos in the media. Because when we draw, every mark we make is intentional. It's a decision. We choose what to focus on. People, gestures, buildings, objects, we choose what goes on the page. In short, we have the power to control the narrative. Okay. So, uh, fast forward to 2018. So this is a drawing that I did in New Central, and I can never walk past this lift in New Central without thinking of the protesters that I saw that day. So by drawing, I've made a connection between the place uh, to myself as a person. So let's fast forward to 2018. It's a year that none of us can forget. After my experience documenting Berseh in 2015, I know I need to document the 14th general elections as well. So I go to rallies in Penang and Seremban, drawing flags and more flags, politicians and propaganda, technicians behind the scenes, celebrities giving away raffle prizes. This time I work with new narrative, publishing the sketches and notes on their online platform. Because I believe it's important that this documentation is publicly accessible as a contribution to our shared history. And on a personal level, these elections are the first time that I've been able to vote. So by documenting my experience this way, I have a permanent, unique record of 9 May 2018, which nobody else can produce. Because that's just what a drawing is. A drawing is a record of how an artist saw the world. And this perspective is invaluable. So ever since then, uh, I've been fortunate to work with various groups and travel to draw to document from an Orang Asli village in Kampong Kaloi in Goa Musang up in Kelantan to talking to activists in Chiang Kong, which is on the Mekong River at the border of Thailand and Laos, and just learning about what they do. At the time, we may not realize just how important this documentation is. So these are sellers along Jalan Kuala Kangsa at Charasta Market in Penang, which is one of my favorite markets. And a year after I drew them, the town council actually banned the sellers from having stalls on the streets. So the landscape of the market was forever changed. But the sellers still exist in these drawings, even though some of them may even have passed on. So to Charasta Market, I also bring public school students. They are teenagers, ranging from Form 2 to Form 4. And we do illustration workshops there. In one of them, we document ergonomics. And ergonomics is how people work safely, comfortably, and efficiently. So Mr. Abu Bakar has passed away, but the students documented everything about how the vendors worked, from the hook they used to pull fish to how they unload the fish onto the loading bay. And in the process, they learned to talk to people, to ask questions, to wonder, and most importantly, they are learning to observe, to stop and really look. Because drawing is first and foremost observation, then mark making. And sometimes 
the marks don't even matter. But we don't have to go to protests or to distant riverside towns or to markets to draw. Uh, we can start at home. So this is a documentation of the waste that I produce in one week. And after I did this, I stopped eating snacks because it was too tiring to draw all the packaging. Like, do you know how boring it is to draw the same packet of pocky sticks like six times? It's really boring. So drawing doesn't just change how we see the world, it also changes how we think and act from the smallest personal acts to big acts of activism. And that's where I'd like to invite all of us to begin drawing from the personal, the mundane, and the intimate. So like writing or reading, learning to draw takes time. We took a long while to learn how to speak a language, to read words on a page, to write words. I'm not going to say that drawing is easy, but I will say that it's worth it and even that it is necessary because drawing builds patience. It's an antidote to our fast-paced capitalist culture that only wants us to consume and not to create. Drawing puts the power to frame the narrative back in our hands and drawing helps us to see the world differently, more intently, more perceptively. So patience, power, perception. These are three great things to have and I hope you join me in drawing to document as a way to bear witness to the world and as a way to be in the world. Thank you.